SpaceX launched its enormous Starship rocket on Sunday on its boldest test flight yet, catching the returning booster back at the pad with mechanical arms. Towering almost 400 feet, the empty Starship blasted off at sunrise from the southern tip of Texas near the Mexican border. It arced over the Gulf of Mexico like the four starships before it that ended up being destroyed, either soon after liftoff or while ditching into the sea. The last one in June was the most successful yet, completing its flight without exploding. This time, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk upped the challenge and risk. The company brought the first stage booster back to land at the pad from which it had soared seven minutes earlier. The launch tower sported monstrous metal arms, dubbed chopsticks, that caught the descending 232-foot booster. It was up to the flight director to decide, in real time with a manual control, whether to attempt the landing. SpaceX said both the booster and launch tower had to be in good, stable condition. Otherwise, it was going to end up in the gulf like the previous ones. Everything was judged to be ready for the catch. Once free of the booster, the retro-looking stainless steel spacecraft on top continued around the world, targeting a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. The June flight came up short at the end after pieces came off. SpaceX upgraded the software and reworked the heat shield, improving the thermal tiles. SpaceX has been recovering the first-stage boosters of its smaller Falcon 9 rockets for nine years, after delivering satellites and crews to orbit from Florida or California. But they land on floating ocean platforms or on concrete slabs several miles from their launch pads, not on them. Recycling Falcon boosters has sped up the launch rate and saved SpaceX millions. Musk intends to do the same for Starship, the biggest and most powerful rocket ever built with 33 methane fuel engines on the booster alone. NASA has ordered two starships to land astronauts on the moon later this decade. SpaceX intends to use Starship to send people and supplies to the moon and, eventually Mars. Two more Russian soldiers surrendered to the Ukrainian army. Relevant video footage has also been released. It is showed T in video the soldiers from the 79th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the Russian Federation, Mikhailov Alexei Valerievich and Maximov Ivan Sergeyevich. Former prisoners who signed the contract tell how Commander Colonel Efremov Maxim Nikolievich set up a conveyor belt for the disposal of prisoners that make up the regiment. After being wounded, they were not treated completely and were sent to storm again. They tell of cruel treatment in the 155th Separate Marine Brigade, people are shot, maimed, money is taken from their own. They call them, Zex, and drive them forward, hiding behind their backs. Instead of being killed by their own, these two made the only right decision. Having landed, they hid in the basement and voluntarily surrendered to the Ukrainians. Earlier, Russian soldiers complained that his commanders beat anybody they catch drinking alcohol, even though they regularly drink themselves. The UK Ministry of Defense said in April that Russian commanders were punishing soldiers for acts like drunkenness by putting them in rudimentary cells that were made from holes in the ground, covered with a metal grill. Ukraine has been sharing what it says is intercepted Russian audio since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of the country in February 2022. Those have included Russian soldiers seeming to describe how they had been sent to be killed, or were trying to get out of the war, along with extensive complaints about their commanders. Recall, 
Ukraine's military intelligence launched the I Want to Live project in 2022 to help Russian soldiers desert or defect to the Ukrainian side. Thank